Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Titus. Now in this video, I want to share with you guys all the Pothos collection that I have. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I'll usually talk about plants in general. So in this video, I just want to share with you guys the different pothos that I own because as you guys may have seen on that previous video, I posted about five different starter plants that you guys should have. Okay, the pothos is one of them. And the reason for that being is they are such easy care plants to have. And I want to really um, just show you the ones that I have here and also the different types and how to distinguish some of them from each other. Now, depending on where you're at and also the type of grower and also the type of seller who's selling you these pothos, some of the names may slightly have a bit of differences as well. And I noticed that in America and also in Australia, they have different names for different types of pothos. So in this video, I guess I just want to show with you guys what we call it here in Australia. So the first one I want to show you guys, and you guys have seen this um, in my previous video before, is the golden pothos. Okay, so as you guys can see here, this golden pothos has green as well as golden variations on it. Um, some of the names that you guys might hear um, in relation to this is the Devil's Ivy, Scandapsus aureus, and also Epipremnum aureum. Okay, all those names are actually the same thing. And this one I'm particularly proud of, as I've mentioned in my previous video before, because last year this was only two leaves when I bought it and it was only $5 when I bought it at that time. It was just a small tiny cutting in a small pot and then I replanted it into a bigger pot. When it threw out six more leaves, I ended up pruning the other two and it gave that really bushy um, kind of growth down below and now I'm trying to trail it up to this moss pole as you guys can see. Now I really love this plant because you can expose them to different extremes such as having dry and low levels of moistness in the soil. Um, it can also tolerate low humidity and also direct sunlight as well. I did end up buying another one which I did show you guys previously before and it's this one. Okay, I bought this in Bunnings and it was $40 when I first bought it and I really love that white half marble queen variegation there with a the half uh, golden pothos and that's the reason why I bought this plant. And it does have multiple leaves with that actually but at the top it just reverted back to its normal golden pothos. Um, leaves so this one i really love because as you can see all right it's climbing up this moss pole in the middle and it's climbing even more higher and it's just grown so much okay so um eventually maybe i would probably propagate this um, once we move to our house however at the moment i'm just letting it grow because it's grown like one two three four five six seven eight eight leaves in probably two months or so so I'm really loving looking after this plant. All right, the next plant that I want to show you guys is the Marble Queen Pothos. All right, so this is the one that I own and it's a really, really massive one, okay? Even though it's not really bushy yet. So when I got this, it was actually only these two leaves and it wasn't clearance because it wasn't really doing that great. And then it's now shooting out two um, more leaves down here. And then there's another bud coming right there, if you guys can see right there. So I'm hoping that this will eventually grow really nicely. I'm glad that it didn't actually lose its variegation because as you can see here, it was starting to turn green and then eventually like, you know, getting more greener and greener. And then eventually it did throw up another variegation there that's got a lot of creamy color on it. Um, I placed it in front of a window where it's getting direct sunlight and I love how it doesn't burn as much <laughs> or didn't burn um, too bad actually. I think this is from dryness or maybe it was already there before but these leaves are adjusting quite well to direct sunlight and obviously with variegated plants the more exposed they are to light the more variegations they usually have however the slower they will grow as well. So I'm glad to um, actually have that variety of um, variations in this particular plant so hopefully that one will grow a little bit more bigger in future all right the next pothos that i want to show you guys is this one all right so this one is a marble queen slash crystal queen juvenile form okay so depending on where you're at and what type of grower they are the difference between this one and the marble queen is that this is actually 
got a lot more white variegations. The stem of it is also quite white as I've noticed, okay, and it's got less green there. Some growers actually say that this is just a uh, juvenile form of a marble queen, but for me, I think it's a whole species in itself. Now compared to the Marble Queen, this one is actually a slow grower and I'm just getting my first bud there. I'll show you guys a previous image of how this looked like before, which is here. Okay, and because it's really finicky and because it's got so much variegations and variegations usually mean that it's more sensitive, it just came down to this now. Alright, so I ended up um, just putting it in water now just to make sure that the leaves are well hydrated and it looks like this one perked up and I've got a new shoot coming out right there as well so if you guys can see it right there in the middle. Now the next pothos that I want to show you guys is the Snow Queen. So this is our Snow Queen okay and this is how it looks like and as you can see it's just pretty much green and it's got white variegations on it like so. Okay I am aware that in America it might be called differently. Okay, I reckon in America when I saw it Snow Queen was actually this type Which is that crystal queen that we just called before the reason why I bought this Snow Queen initially And the reason why it's not really as bushy yet as I would like it to be is because it had that small tiny growth on the side before which I thought was a manjula Okay, and I'll talk a little bit more about manjula later on, but I do have a little tiny one here all right, so this tiny leaf, and I've just cut it right there. As you can see, it's not really doing too well. <laughs> it's got the stem there. It had been connected or potted up on the side of this, and I thought, oh, you know, mandrulas are really rare. And it did have a couple of leaves before it eventuated to this tiny, tiny leaf right here. Okay, and I'm now trying to propagate and see if it'll actually grow. But um, yeah, that's the reason why I bought this Snow Queen in the first place. Now, Snow Queens are generally not that rare. However, Snow Queens are quite popular with that green and white variegations on it. They're very, very common and can be difficult to look after if you don't know how to. But yeah, I actually like this and maybe I will propagate it more so that it can go bushier. But I have actually bought another Snow Queen in the past and I've chopped it up into pieces. <laughs> and here it is. So it's currently in sphagnum moss and it's got tiny, tiny growths there now, which you guys can see. Okay, so I'm hoping that this spring here in Australia will get a little bit more growth from this and maybe I can repot it into another pot making it even more bushier. Now with this one, I think I might let it um, just hang loose maybe instead of um, climbing up this pole. I guess depending on the growth pattern that this gives. Okay, so we'll just see. Alright, the next pothos that I want to show you guys is the um, Enjoy Pothos which is right here, or I think it's also called Pearls and Jade. You probably can't see it there, but it kind of looks like a Snow Queen. Now the main difference between this and the Snow Queen is that this one has little white marbling with little greens on it, okay? So they said that apparently um, Enjoy and or maybe it's classified as pearls and jade as well, is a combination of both Snow Queen and Marble Queen. So as you can see, it looks like a Snow Queen. However, it's got marbling like a Marble Queen as well. Now with Snow Queens, they usually don't have marbling on it. And I can really tell that it doesn't um, because as you can see there, even though it's got a little bit of damage, the white is really pure. Okay, that one's a damage right there. Okay, but it doesn't have specks unlike the pearls and jade. Which this one, it's really more evident as you guys can see here. Um, you might hear me interchangeably use pothos and joy and also pearls and jade because I think they're pretty much the same. And um, I only came to that conclusion because of that term that they use for short is P and J. Okay, which is pearls and jade, but it can also be pothos and joy. Now, if you know better um, about those differences, please jot them down in the comments down below. But for me, I think they're pretty much the same thing. Or maybe pothos and joy is a little bit smaller compared to the pearls and jade. Sometimes they may also sell um, pearls and jade as a snow queen. However, I found that snow queens really don't have those um, variegated white areas on them. Okay, like this one doesn't have it. It's just got those little browning on it, which I think I need to treat it. I don't know if it's fungus or what, but I hope that, you know, eventually this will become more healthier. <laughs> right, another pothos that's um, 
not really similar to how those looks because they're all epipremnum as far as I'm aware, the type of pothos. Um, but this one is a skin dapsis type of pothos. Okay, so here it is. So this one is a skin dapsis pictus and I think either a silver satin or a Argarius type, okay? I think I need to water it a little bit because it's not really looking at its best at the moment. But this one is characterized by having different silvery variegation specks on it. Like so, this one is also a climber or it can also roll down into a vine. Now the growth of this is not really looking that great, okay? So I might propagate this again once we move to our other house so that I can get either that bushier kind of look that I can just let it flow down like a vining plant. Or maybe I can train it to go up this moss pole as well. We'll see. Now some of the other pothos that I don't yet own are also the Goldilocks pothos, which looks like this, which I think can also be similar to a neon pothos. I haven't had a liking for it yet, but maybe once the stores open up here again in Melbourne, then maybe I can buy myself one, um, but we'll see. Now the other pothos that I said that I may have owned, but I'm not really sure of, is the Mandrula pothos. Now, even though this particular leaf here may look like a Mandrula pothos because of that white area in the middle, okay, and this is how Mandrula pothos actually look like on the side here. They're characterized by having greens on the sides and then white is usually in the middle of that stem. Okay, so that's how you distinguish them from a Snow Queen or a Pothos Enjoy. Now the reason Mandrula Pothos are usually popular and also quite rare is because they're genetically engineered from the University of Florida as far as I'm aware and they're very hard to grow and very very finicky as well. Now depending on what type of grower you are, I would really recommend that if you do decide to buy a Mandrula Pothos, don't buy a cutting, buy an established plant because usually established variegated plants are much more stronger, much more sturdier and can really withstand different new environments. Especially if they are from a nursery or from another person's home and then coming into your own home where there's different environment as well. So just be mindful of that. And that's pretty much it guys. So the other thing that I just want to highlight with you guys is that I hope you don't get um, pothos confused with the other type of philodendrons, okay? For example, this philodendron Brazil. Okay, so this one is definitely, definitely not an epipremnum or a pothos, but it is vining as well. Um, I will talk about it in a different video, maybe if you guys would like. Jot them down in the comments below if you want me to explain the difference between those different vining philodendrons and also these pothos as well. Otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, then please click that like button. If you wanna see me make more videos, then please click that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye and God bless.